Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. I came upstairs to this note that I was supposed to draw a winner for those of you that made it to the end of my video and commented 100. I was gonna draw a prize. And guess what? I didn't bring my computer up and that's where I have to do the random comment generator. So, ew. I had a Band-Aid on one of my fingers right before I started to try and protect my nail that's broken and it's sticky so I think stuff from it is everywhere but anyway um so I'm gonna after the video I'm gonna use the random comment generator and I'm gonna put a name on the screen oh no lordy guys before I started this giant spider came out and I couldn't catch him and he's back I knew he was gonna come out as soon as I started filming I try not to kill them because it makes me feel awful but he's really big Okay, sorry, I'm gonna put a winner on the screen. You stay over there, buddy, and I'll stay over here, okay? Deal, stay over there. And uh, thank you guys for those of you that made it to the end. That was a long video, but it was fun to try to do. All right, I'm turning on the gem tester. Uh, if you guys would like to purchase anything, pause the video here and it will tell you what you need to do. Uh, during the summer, uh, this could happen anytime, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This week it happened Monday. Um, just depends on what ends up happening on the weekends with family and stuff like that. Okay, so just bear with me a little bit for that. Thanks so much. Okay, it's Treasure Hunt Tuesday. Um, I have some homework that I did. I have what I found treasure hunting over the weekend. I went out with Mama. And then I have some awesome treasures over here. I have this bag. Of goodies and then I have a whole bunch of jewelry boxes we'll see what we can get through okay let's do it okay so I did my homework here I got this guy untangled it is beautiful um, I think that's a red Jasper probably a rose quartz maybe let's see yeah I think it is um, I don't know doesn't it look kind of more solid than a quartz? Oh, that's probably rose quartz. I don't know what that is. Let me look again. I think it's red on the nephrite line, actually. It did. So maybe that's like a pink nephrite. And then there's some green, some other jasper. It's gorgeous. Let me do a drive-by for you. Here we go. Uh-oh. Naughty. It is long, guys. And it's in really good condition. Very beautiful. It's an infinity, no clasp, and I am going to ask 15. Now yeah, we'll go 12. $12, you guys. Oh, spider. Please, please, just go away. Ah! <laughs> guys, it's everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I should be filming. Okay, guys, this. Do you remember this bracelet? Um... I told you it tested not as sterling, but it's um, marked Ross, uh, Ross, is it Simmons or Simons? It's spelled Simons, but I hear everybody say Simmons, I think. Okay, so it's marked with that signature, with that stamp. And I'm like, do they fake his stamps? I don't know, right? So what's going on? So here's what I did. I tested this end, not sterling. I'm like, what is going on? So then I tested in the middle, and on the back of these um, gems, sterling. Okay, so something we learned. I think they did use a harder material for the clasp end. So um, you guys might have bought things for me that could have been sterling that I tested and they weren't. So just so you know. Okay, this is a beautiful bracelet. I believe it was a blue topaz. Let me just check. Yes, it is blue topaz. And I think those are, I don't know what those are. Maybe white topaz. I cannot get the gem tester in there. It's giving me a hard time. Let me get you a length. I've been talking forever, sorry. Uh, here we go. Seven inches, you guys, seven inches. And I'm gonna ask 20 for that, $20. It is sterling, except the end. <laughs> okay, so um, I had a really good day yard sailing. Uh, we found treasure at only one yard sale, but I found great treasure. Should I show it to you first or last? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, so that goes here. 
All right, first of all, we have this piece. Now, this lady was selling her jewelry for basically 25 cents a piece. I paid $7 for the pile, and I counted and divided, so it's basically 25 cents a piece. Okay, we have this cute little uh, silver tone uh, flower pendant necklace. I'll give you a drop on that. Let's see. Uh, eight inch drop. There we go. We're going to do $5. $5 on that one. Okay. So, oh no, I dropped a bag. Brittany's probably going to make short work of that. Okay. We have these earrings. I'm pretty sure these are antler like a cross section of antler. That's what it looks like to me. Um, they're like a brassy color with a feather, ear wires. They're really cute. I'm gonna do these for $3. Okay. We have a cute little horsey pin. Do we have horsey lovers out there? So cute, huh? Sweet little horse pin. I'm gonna do that for $5, $5. Okay. Oh shoot, this was supposed to go for prom girls. Okay, forget that guys. I was gonna show you something for the prom girls. And I have a plan for prom. I'll tell you about it in a couple days. Okay, I have these little studs that are horse racers. Two dollars. They're pierced studs. I have this little bag of little pierced studs. There's a variety in there. I bought these because they all had gold posts. Okay, so I couldn't see while I was there and I'm like, I'm gonna take them all because they have gold posts and that a lot of time, gold earrings will have gold posts. I actually did get lucky on one pair. It is gold. Um, these are not, so I'm just gonna do this little baggie for $3. I think there's five pairs, you guys. I, uh, four or five, okay, $3. Did I tell you I found a little girl to give those little necklaces to? I'm so excited. My future, let's see, my future niece-in-law, <laughs> her best friend's daughter. I'm so excited because they would be perfect. Um, I'm just going to, oh, wait, these are these are Richie Lou, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Eek. Yeah, Richie Lou. There you go. Can you see it? So I'm gonna do these for five. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do these for two. <laughs> and you can glue your stone back in. If you don't have E6000, tell me, I'll glue it. <laughs> you can still have it for two. Oh my goodness, I'm glad it happened here, not with you guys. Uh, these little cuties, they're a little like, a little wonky, but not awful. Let's see, here we go. Cute, huh? These are really cute. I'm just gonna do $2. They are for pierced ears. Okay. <gasps> Guys, did you see my ring? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Look at his little smile. <laughs> he's sterling and he's awesome and I was so excited to find it. <laughs> Cause you know, we gotta save the bees, right guys? The bees need saving. Okay, so this guy was interesting to me. Um, and I know like these don't sell awesomely, but it does have hard perfume in there, like the perfume gel block. Um, and it doesn't smell terrible. It's not awesome, but it doesn't smell terrible. I had never seen one in a brooch. So that's why I definitely bought this. This is so cool. And look, if somebody wanted to clean out that perfume, you'd have like a little trap door in there to store something or Maybe a love note. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes. So anyway, we've got this awesome little unicorn with the biggest horn you've ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one for four dollars. Have you guys seen the um? I'm calling it hard perfume. I think it's called solid perfume. Have you seen that in a brooch? I had not. Okay, these little guys are to die for. Are they okay? Are they yucky? Guys, they might need a little wipe down, but they're really cute. I'm gonna do them for $2, little foxes, post earrings. 
Wow, I thought we'd be through this in a flash. Okay. And here we go. We got some Mother of Pearl. Oh boy. Oh, Nelly. Look at that. So cute. This might be sterling. I didn't test that, you guys. It's so cute, huh? And these are Mother of Pearl chunks. And then these little, I'm not sure what those are, guys. Maybe shell. Not sure. Let me give you a total length on it. It's very pretty, and it reminds me of summer. It's a, like 17 and a half inch total length. And I'm going to do $7. Okay. Next. This lady was super nice, too. She was very, very friendly. She was a New Hampshire friendly girl. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Isn't this funny? Look at Ready? I'm having a bad day. <laughs> no, good day. Bad day. Good day. <laughs> It is by JJ, you guys, and I think it's fantastic. I'm going to ask five. Five dollars. It's cuter. <laughs> the guy at the yard sale, the husband of the woman who, the, it was a husband and wife. He said, you should get this so your husband will always know what kind of mood you're in. <laughs> I'm like, okay, throw it in the pile. Look at this little set of tack pins. I think they're to die for. If somebody doesn't buy them, you know what I've been doing with these, you guys? I have a cork board and I've been using these as tacks. It, it's fantastic. My tacks are so cool. So anyway, there's a little idea for you guys. Um, okay, this little set has an owl, a butterfly, and a turtle, and they are super cute. And I'm going to ask uh, $5, $5. Okay. All right. So I already tested these guys. These are sterling. We have some little horsey earrings and I tested the wires and the horsies and both are sterling. And I'm going to ask 15, one five. Okay. Well, let's see what else. Okay. I have a sterling chain. I'm not giving that up unless somebody needs it. Let me know. I've got stuff I can put on it, especially you guys, the amber is starting to arrive. Eek! I'm so excited. I got some really awesome pieces for you guys. I'm so excited about it. Um, this is Avon. It says Avon on the chain. It's a cute little like paperclip kind of chain. I'm trying to see. I feel like I just saw vertigree. Maybe a teeny bit. Do you see it right there starting? This is really cute. Little cloisonne owl. He feels solid too. He's a heavy little bugger two-sided. Let me give you a drop on the chain. Okay, seven and a half inch drop. Going to be ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay, I have some Napier earrings on the card. Do -do. <laughs> no price. How about, you know what, I should see if they're marked. Because you can put anything on a card, right, guys? All right, Julie. Huh, no mark. And Napier does mark their stuff, typically. Sorry, I'm off camera. I was peeking. Oh, hold on. Yep, the backing is marked. So I'm going to have faith that these are Napier earrings. And they are beautiful. In like new condition and they are on the card and I'm just fixing them here they are a gold tone like seashell kind of motif oh I did all that you guys but I cheated I was peeking over here <laughs> all right let's do four dollars four dollars on those all righty I have some cloisonne dun -dun. look aren't they cute Poison eight butterflies, gold tone with black. Not signed, but awesome. And do these for three dollars. Okay, this is interesting, you guys. Look at this. You know Lucinda that does the houses? She's from Maine, which is close by. Isn't that cool? So this is Lucinda, but it's not a house. This is designs by Lucinda, not Lucinda houses. And look, isn't that cool? There's like this line right here, and I tried to figure out what the heck it is. It's 
it's not cracked through. So I think it's just um, from when it was made. Isn't it cool? Little Lucinda brooch. I usually sell Lucinda for 10. So I'm going to ask 10. I have another Lucinda house somewhere and it looks like a 1985 pin. It's so cool. It's all like bright red primary colors. Like it just reminds me of that. Okay. These guys, guess what? They're 14K. Can you believe it? I tested them. I tested the flower part and the post part, 14K. The backings are not. Backings are not 14K and they are real pearl. I was gonna try and shine them up, I forgot. I'll see if I can do that. Um, so there they are and I'm going to ask $40. Did I say 14K guys? I'm so sorry, they're 10K, 10K, 10K. Sorry, the flower part, the post part, 10K, real pearl, backings are not. Okay, $40. Okay, now these I also tested. They are 925 and they are very pretty, look at them. I tested this part and the wire, both are 925 and they are so cool with the filigree. I'm gonna ask 15 for these, one five. Okay, what's next? Oh, I have a little Avon tack pin. It's owls. This lady liked owls a lot. Isn't it cute? He could go on my cork board too. And it says Avon on this part and this part. Cutie patootie, $3. $3, it's like more of a su substantial, ooh, easy for me to say, substantial, um, tech pin. Okay, we've got this guy, which was an awesome find. He is sterling. Um, you know what? I didn't test him. I'm 99% I'm sure he's sterling. I'll test after because I found his exact match online. This is a Zuni piece and they're going for $75 to $95 online. It's a, um, it's a pendant and a brooch and I'm going to ask $60. $60. And like I said, I'll double check the sterling, but I don't think there's a chance that it's not. I found like three of the exact one. These I did test, they are sterling. They're supposed to be sterling and garnet. Let's see, are you garnet? Oop, 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 I fell off, hold on. I'm here. Yep, garnet, sterling and garnet, and they're very, very pretty. I'm gonna ask 15, one five. Okay, holy cow, I had more than I thought. I don't know how far we're gonna make it in this pile. All right, let's see you guys. Oh no, hold on, I can't show you that. Okay, this is the second to last piece and then you're, the last piece is my holy cow. Even though I had good ones, the Zuni and the earrings. Isn't this guy to die for? I think he's one of the cutest um, holiday pins I've ever seen. Look at that face. I just want to kiss them. There might be a little bit of paint loss right there, you guys, just so you know. Resin, I believe. I'm going to ask $5. He's to die for. $5. Are you guys ready? So I paid a quarter, and I brought home this beautiful bracelet. Look at it. Isn't it nice? And guess what? These are amethyst. And guess what else? It was marked 14K. And it was marked, oops, down here I think. Here, where is it? There, it says 14K. And then it has these lines, almost like it's an eye, eyeball kind of eye. And then it's also marked 14K here. Do you see that? And I tested it, and guess what? It is 14K, guys! It is, it's 14K. I'm not even joking. So, I found a gold bracelet. Isn't that awesome? I haven't had a find like this in a long time, you guys. Okay, so I am gonna ask for this bracelet, $560, 560. And if nobody wants it, that's okay, I'm gonna throw it on eBay, 560. So, I had a conundrum about, um, buying something that cheaply from the people and having it and they don't know and it kind of made me feel bad a little bit like should I I don't know 
go back and throw money in their mailbox or something. But everyone I've talked to has said, it's okay, Julie. <laughs> so I did also make a donation to the American Legion while I was there. So I did more than just the $7, but I don't know. I just feel a little bad. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so we've got this bag. I paid $10 for this. Um, I got this when I was out junking with Heidi, my sister, who I'm going to see tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. She's, we were junking and she's like, I have so many things I wanted to ask you, but it's going to lead to a debate. She and I like to talk about um, hard stuff. <laughs> I don't know, stuff that makes you think kind of stuff. And uh, we were walking around a junk store and she's like, I can't do it here. So anyway, so we're going to go hang out. Okay. So, this is a broken. This is awesome, though. Can somebody fix that? I don't know. It's so cool. It's really beautiful. It's going to be a dollar and craft. That is sad. Sad, sad, sad. Let's get the pearly pearls. Okay, so we have a little knot tied right there. So you're aware. I don't know if this is a craft lot. I am getting the feeling it might be. Let's see. All right. Because of that end, I'm just going to make this $2. Somebody could use those beads, I'm sure. Okay. We've got a stretchy rhinestone. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> um, I think those are black stones. Let's just do a dollar. Okay. Ooh, those look like alpaca. Let's see. Not signed. I'm thinking they may be alpaca. Let's put it. Oh, they're right here. It's right here. And yes, alpaca. Let's see if I'm right. Yep, alpaca, Mexico. So guys, this isn't sterling silver, but it is an alloy of metals that shines like silver. So if you want it shiny, you can make it look like that. These are awesome. Actually, I'm going to ask seven, seven dollars. Well, that's good. I'm glad we found something awesome. You never know when you buy these, right? Look at that little cutie patootie butterfly. So cute. Did you guys do the no mo may? <laughs> no mo may. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you a total length on this. I guess you're supposed to let your lawns grow and not mow for the month of May, 15 inch total length, because it encourages the pollinators. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> this is really beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna ask five, five dollars. So we kind of did, but we didn't make the whole month. The failures. <laughs> oh, look, this is cool. Signed? Not signed. Make sure this comes off. Oh yeah, Julie Overboard Brown just almost ripped the chain off. <laughs> Cause you know, I can't do anything gently. <laughs> and it is a locket. Somebody's picture was in there. That's for sure. Okay, it closes. Okay, this is really cute. I like it a lot. Let's do $5. Okay, wait a second. It just popped open. Whoever was in there wants to get out. Let me out. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to pop. Pop. <gasps> Naughty. Okay, I'm just going to make it a dollar since it's popping. It's still really cool. I'm wondering if um, sometimes you can bend the little tabs. I'm not sure though. So anyway, a dollar if somebody would like to have the pop and lock it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else. I've got a messy table today looking at this. It just popped again. Did you guys hear it? <laughs> We've got this little nuggety. A nuggety nuggety. Um, it is signed GS. GS. Okay. It's kind of, it's not really nugget, I guess. Well, it's kind of nugget style, I guess you could say. It's in nice condition, it seems. Okay, I just felt something. Um, I think it's okay. Here's the end. That's a beaut. Let's give it a measurement. Okay. Let's 
Okay. Uh, 18 inch total length. Let's do $5. Five whole dollars. One of you guys sent me Happy Mail today. And I gotta tell you, it made my smile so big. I was kind of stressed out when I got home. I took the dogs to the groomer today. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Got to get it all done. Okay, maybe a tiny bit of gold tone moss right there, but not bad. Um, this is cute. Really cute. Um, let's put the gem tester on the green. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I would say it's nephrite, you guys. And then you've got um, tiger's eye. Let's do $5. That's nice. I like it. I don't really think there's really gold tone moss. No, I think I was seeing a shadow. It's good shape. $5. So yeah, I got home from grab. Usually I come home while they're at the groomer and I didn't. I ran errands. So I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta hurry. Okay, this has a lot of wear. It's gonna be a dollar in craft. Dollar in craft. Okay, what else have we got? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Guys, there's a good chance that I'm going to go downstairs and totally forget to pull a winner. <laughs> and if you do, if I do, I promise I will take care of it. I just know how I'm feeling today. <laughs> okay, here we go. That took forever. Look at a J for Julie. <laughs> okay, let's give it a little magnet because sometimes those are gold. This one is not. <laughs> I'm just going to do... A dollar on the J tie tack. Very cool. Maybe I'll have to put it on my cork board. Okay, we have this faux pearl with a yin yang. There it is. Toggle. Two dollars. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, like it's the end of the world. <laughs> That kind of looks like sterling, you guys. I see a little um, ball earring that looks like sterling. Do you think he missed something? <gasps> this guy is cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I know his little eyeball. <laughs> Aww. Oh, look, it's Sarah Cove. Sometimes she has a tag that looks like a like mirror, dresser mirror or brush. I think that's what it's supposed to be. That's what I've always thought. Okay, silver tone in awesome shape, Sarah Coventry. It has a drop of 12 inches and it has a hook closure. We are going to ask $7 for this beauty. $7. Okay, we got this honker. Now that is a chunker, guys. It's got a lot of wear. Dollar and craft. I started saving heart charms to put like all on one necklace, like a heart charm necklace. Okay, that's acrylic. Um, yeah, there's there's definitely some wear, I think. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this in craft, you guys. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see. I'm gonna put this guy in craft for a dollar. There's wear. Okay, we've got a little watchy. What does that say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it says, you guys. <laughs> Little faux pearl watch. It's cute. I don't know if it works. I might have a battery. I do have watch batteries somewhere here. It's a size six, you guys. If somebody's interested in this, um, I'll just make it $3 and I'll let you know if it works. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's cute. It needs a wipe down, but not bad at all. Is it signed? It is. What does it say? I can't figure it out. <laughs> I have to pee. Oh, jeez. I almost dropped my loop. <laughs> oh, guys. You know when you... <laughs> Are looking at something. Oh, it is Sarah Cove. Okay, I thought it said that, but I wasn't sure. Sarah Cove and Tree, we will do five dollars. That's a nice little brooch. I like it. We got this little guy 
with some kind of something on it. <laughs> it's nice though. I like it. It's like, um, were those always like that or were they silver? I'm just going to put this in craft for a dollar, you guys. That is some kind of stone. I think those were silver tone before and they are definitely not anymore. Okay, I found a little charm. I'm saving charms for somebody um, who wants terribly to make a charm bracelet. So that would be awesome, I think. Here's another one, a little heart. Uh, okay, got one earring here, let's see. Uh, another heart. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, we have a little spoon ring. Cute. Let's give it a magnet test. Not magnetic, you guys. Interesting. Well, it could be silver. What does it say in there? It says, I can't read you. Hold on. It says... W.M.A. Rogers, Oneida. It's an Oneida Limited. Okay, so we'll test it for the heck of it. Why not? That'd be cool if we found some sterling. This is an earring. Uh, okay, sorry. I've got to get stuff here. I have a big mess, you guys. <laughs> You know what? I wonder if I should set this to the side and show you stuff that is untangled. What do you think? Are you answering me? <laughs> oh, I got this guy untangled, I think. We have a cute little faux abalone little silver tone turtle. $4. Okay. And I think I will probably put this up top. Okay, let's do that. Bye-bye. Goodbye, old friend. What is this? Did you see this, guys? The sparkles? Ooh, ooh. that's cool looking. It says something on it that I can't read. Let's see. I have no clue what that says. I think it's numbers. It's a scarf clip. Let's do $4. That's nice. Okay. So here we go. We will, we'll return to that. I'm going to get untangled. But let me show you this little treasure. It's in a box. It's upside down. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Do you want the full effect? Are you ready? We'll do like pretty woman. Ready? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Look, it's really nice. It's not signed. Um, but it's a beautiful little set and it's original box. It is vintage. It's really pretty. I am going to ask uh, $20. $20 and you can keep get the case too. $20. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what's in this case? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> oh, no, you didn't. Look. Are you excited? I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> I think some of these could oops, could possibly be sterling, okay? So this one I was questioning. Maybe, maybe not. It's not magnetic, okay? So we'll test this one too. It's cute, isn't it? Let's get a size on it. It's teeny. It's a little guy. Not teeny, actually. It's a five and a half. All right, so we'll test that, and we'll test the ring. I mean, the spoon ring. Okay, then I had this one. It's cool. Rhodonite, maybe? Um, somebody has been telling me in the comments to stop saying rhodochrosite because it's too expensive, and they wouldn't use that. It would be rhodonite. Okay, six and a quarter. That's cute. Is it magnetic? Because I was thinking this one might be sterling also. It is not magnetic, you guys. Oh boy, it's rolling away. Stay. Okay, this one I also questioned if it was sterling. It's a nice ring, isn't it? Probably some inlay turquoise there. I, I'm not, I can't be sure of that. Maybe a little missing piece there, possibly if I'm nitpicking. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do a size on that rotonite. 
Uh, this one is a size five and a quarter. Bummer, teenies. They're not all teeny, just so you know. Um, okay, let's look at the Goldstone because I know you guys love that. Cool, huh? It's a nice little ring. A little bit of wear on the back of the um, band. This one is a six. A six? Let's give it a little magnet test. Huh. Interesting. So, I guess that could be gold over silver, couldn't it? Let's test it. I thought this one was so interesting. Look at that. I think it's glass. Is that crack? I don't know. I'm not sure. Do you guys see it right there? Interesting. I'm not sure. Um, this one is adjustable. And that vintage adjustable in this. Magnetic. So it's adjustable, but right now it's sitting at a size 6. I am going to say $5. Okay, what else have we got? How much time do we have? This one's tiny. I think that's just resin and like a pot metal. Let's see what size it is. This would be a mini ring for most. It is a size two and a half. Holy guacamole. <laughs> I will make that $2. Oh, I didn't, t it's not sterling. I'm not gonna. Okay, we've got this guy, super pretty adjustable so when I measure these I don't know if this is the right way to do it but I usually kind of just place it on so like a four and a half and then put it on pretty good four and a half to a six and a half okay and magnetic I'm gonna ask seven for this one I thought I had some bigger sizes in here you guys and if I don't I'm so sorry thought I did, but I have rings coming. Rings galore. Gorgeous sterling stuff coming. Uh, this one is, um, what's that word? Adjustable. It is sitting at a seven and a half. Seven and a half. <laughs> kind of looks, reminds me like of Christmassy. Christmas nuggets. <laughs> Let's do four dollars on that one. Okay, got this little baby. Maybe some rose quartz. Let's see. Da da. Ding 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 ding. We have a winner. Rose quartz, gold tone, adjustable this way. Hmm. Oh, it is magnetic. Uh, sitting at a size. Size six does have some wear on the back of the band. I'm just going to say $4. Okay. What time is it? Okay. I keep asking what time it is because I want to make sure that we test those. Okay. I believe this is ceramic. Transfer wear on ceramic. It is adjustable. This one's in really good shape. Really good shape. Size seven and a quarter, but it is adjustable, like I said. Oops. <laughs> it is magnetic. This one's going to be $5. That's a cute vintage feel, don't you think, that ring? Okay, what have we got here? That's cool. It's almost like a hematite bead. It's not cold to the touch, so I'm thinking it's acrylic. It is adjustable. It's weird. I think it is magnetic. Yep, yeah, there we go. Sometimes magnet the magnetism is very low or not very strong. Uh, this is a size six. We're gonna do five dollars. Okay, I guess there's not bigger sizes in here, you guys. Or not yet, I should say. I apologize. Let's see. What is this guy? That's a neat ring. Maybe glass, let's see. No, it's acrylic. Gold tone, some wear on the back, adjustable. What's it sitting at? 
sitting at a six and three quarter, but it is adjustable. Yep, magnetic. I'm just trying to see if there's like foil off. It's inside though. It kind of looks like there's like some texturing to the stone back there, like foil would be scraped, but it's not, it can't be. Um, let's see, uh, we're gonna do this one for $5. $5. I think my niece is sending me present suggestions for my nephew. Do you guys have a hard time buying gifts for boys being a woman? I do. <laughs> I don't know why. I just have a hard time. I'm not sure what they would be into. This has a lot of wear. It's a weird adjustable. I've never seen one like this. That's interesting. So you push that in. Can you guys see it? <laughs> That's so interesting. I'm just gonna make this a dollar. Oh, does this spin too? I don't know if it's supposed to. <laughs> dollar and craft. Look, this one's got a seatbelt, guys. You know me in a seatbelt ring. <laughs> this is cute. It's in good shape. Uh, is it in good shape? Yeah, better than most with the band. It is magnetic. Uh, sitting at six and three quarter. It is adjustable. Five dollars. Okay. And I'll do one more and then we're going to go look at, um, how about this one? It's a pretty stone. I'm just going to hit it with the gem tester. Dun -dun. I think it's just acrylic. Oh, that has a lot of wear. Okay. Dollar and craft. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Silver tone, adjustable. Let's see if that maybe is glass. That is glass, you guys. Let's get a size. Sitting at a seven and a quarter, five dollars. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna close this. You guys, I had two more jewelry boxes over here to go through, but things take longer than you think. I saw this earring from that big pile, and it looks sterling-ish. Yeah, look at. All right, we'll find we'll find it next time. And there's a very nice washer. It will be twenty-five dollars, please. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's get the testing stuff. Okay. Here we go. Remember this little guy? Let's get a scratch. Okay. We've got this Oneida. Does Oneida make sterling? I have no clue. Got this Rhodonite maybe. This maybe turquoise inlay. And the gold stone, which might be a gold over silver. All right, make your guesses, you guys. You see the colors? <laughs> All right, here we go. Dun dun. Okay. Ooh, do you see some blue? I see some blue. Interesting, interesting turn of events, I must say. Okay, you guys, guess what? They're all sterling except this guy. This one has some wear. Okay. Um, is it adjustable? I think it is. Yep. I am going to make this just $2. Okay, let's see. And then we've got sterling. Sterling. I think I measured them all for you, right? I sized them. Ooh. That's pretty as a midi, you guys. Isn't it? I like it. Somebody needs to wear that as a midi. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this one for 10. Just 10. The Oneida spring, uh, spoon ring, I'm going to do for, so it's kind of a good hunk. Let's do 15. This one is awesome. I like the shape of it. Look at the, the setting. I'm going to ask, 
I'm going to ask 18 on this one, you guys. 18. And then we have this guy. Very pretty also. And I am going to ask 15. One five. All right, you guys. We did it. We made it through. I'm going downstairs to put postage on your packages and go to the post office, get a little gossip in, and mail those packages. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Take care. Bye.